Hi guys. Today we are going to learn about three phase transformers. Okay. So three phase transformers are not that that much special. Simply three phase transformers are nothing but three single phase transformers. Okay. So by using these three single phase transformers, we can take a three phase supply. Let us say this is R. And this one is Y and this one is B. Okay. So, like this, we can uh, get a three phase supply from three single phase transformers. Three single phase transformers. See, we can call this uh, three single phase transformers, enter this combination, we can call these three single phase transformers as three phase bank of three phase bank of three single phase transformers. Three single phase transformers. Okay. So, to attain the three phase uh, supply, three phase supply, okay, basically we need three single phase transformers, okay, by using open delta connection, open delta connection, we can get three phase supply from two single phase transformers. Three phase supply from two single phase transformers. Okay. Two single phase transformers. See here. By using these two single phase transformers means by connecting these two single phase transformers and open delta connection, open delta connection, we can get the three phase supply. See, uh, I will show how the open delta connection will be. See, this is a one single phase transformer. This is one single phase transformer. And see, this is another single phase transformer. One single phase transformer primary winding and another single phase transformer primary winding. Okay, primary winding and secondary winding are electrically isolated but they are magnetically coupled. See, this is the secondary winding of a first single phase transformer and this one is the secondary winding of second single phase transformer. Okay. So, see, this is one phase and this one is another phase and this one is another phase. How will connect the load? Let us say this is R and this one is Y and this one is B. Say R, Y, B load. We will connect the transformer like this. This is R. This one is Y. And this one is B. So, by using two single phase transformers, this is one single phase transformer and this one is another single phase transformer. By using two single phase transformers, we can get a three phase supply. Am I correct or not? This is R. This one is Y and this one is B. Okay. So, by using open delta connection, by using open delta connection, we can get three phase supply. We can get three phase supply from two single phase transformers. And by using three single phase transformers also, we can get three phase supply. But why we are going for single bulk that is we can say single three phase transformer why we are going for single three phase transformer rather than uh, rather than going for three single phase transformers and two single phase transformers the only thing is 
the only thing is when compared to these three single phase transformers we can save up to 15% of cost okay so save the 15% of cost means single bulk bulk single three phase transformer is less cost when compared to three single phase transformers okay and now we will see the types of three phase magnetic circuits three phase magnetic circuits basically depending on the construction we have two types of magnetic circuits one is three limbed core and another one is five limbed core see three limbed core and five limbed core in the sense three limbed core is having three legs five limbed core is having five legs that's it nothing more than that okay see depending on the magnetic circuit what do you mean by magnetic circuit in the transformer it is a magnetic core of the transformer so depending on the magnetic core of the transformer we have two types of transformers one is three limbed and another one is a five limbed four type magnetic circuit see first of all we will see about a three limbed four type magnetic circuit see so now i am going to show you the basic structure of this three limbed four type transformer four type transformer see so this is having three limbs okay this is having three limbs so for these three limbs the winding is see it is wounded like this this is the primary winding of one phase and this one is the primary winding of second phase and this one is the primary winding of third phase okay and secondary winding will be see like this this is the first phase and this one is the second phase and this one is the third phase see this is the way how we will wound the windings okay and uh, in this uh, three limbed type uh, transformer copper required is more so more copper is required the only thing is more copper is required but insulation required is less less insulation okay so this is the design of the three limbed core type magnetic circuit now we will see the five limbed core type magnetic circuit that is see here see this is the five limbed core type magnetic circuit see here three limbs in the sense this is a one this one is a two and this is three limbs in the sense simply three legs here we have one two three four five okay so this is called five limbed core type magnetic circuit five limbed core type magnetic circuit so for this the winding will be like this see here okay this is one winding and this one is another winding similarly the winding is wounded on the second third and fourth limbs the first and five limbs will acts like a protection for the winding so mechanical protection is a more in case of five limbed magnetic core type transformer okay so not only mechanical protection one more thing is also there see this is the way how the windings are wounded in case of five limbed transformer here the thing is less copper is required less copper is required 
but more insulation is required okay you have to keep in mind that for five limbed core type transformer we require less copper and more insulation whereas for three limbed transformer more copper and less insulation so here we have to uh, conduct a polarity test before going to keep the transformers into operation what we have to do is we have to conduct a polarity test okay we have to conduct a polarity test see in case of five limbed transformer there is a closed path for the flux see the flux produced in this coil will links with this uh, limb and the flux produced in this coil uh, will links with this limb okay so the five limbed core provides closed path for flux closed path for flux let us say phi okay so here here there is no closed path so whatever may be the transformer whether it is three limbed or five limbed whatever it may be before put into operation we have to conduct we have to conduct polarity test okay keep this thing in mind so before putting into the operation we have to conduct polarity test okay so now in case of three limbed core type transformer it is clear that there is no closed path for the flux no closed path for the for the flux okay so in this winding the there is no closed path for this winding and for this winding also there is no closed path there is no closed path so as there is no closed path for the flux we can say that that the, there is no closed path for no closed path for third harmonic component for third harmonic component okay this is the technical point which you have to keep in mind in case of a three limbed core type magnetic circuit there is no closed path for the third harmonic component of flux there is no closed path for the third harmonic component of flux but whereas in case of five limbed transformer as there a five limbed transformer provides a closed path for the flux okay provides a closed path for the flux it also provides the closed path for closed path for which harmonic component of flux closed path for odd harmonic component of flux so but here with the three limbed core type magnetic circuit the shape of emf of transformer the shape of emf of transformer is definitely sinusoidal definitely sinusoidal irrespective of whether the uh, winding is delta or star whatever it may be delta whether the winding is a delta winding or star winding whatever the winding may be the shape of emf is sinusoidal shape of emf is sinusoidal okay so the shape of emf is sinusoidal in this five limbed core only in delta connection only in delta connection the shape is sinusoidal okay but as in case of star connection it is not sinusoidal in case of star connection we can say emf is emf is non sinusoidal okay but here in this case that is in delta connection the emf is sinusoidal so this is about the magnetic circuits in the three phase transformer thank you
Thank you.